for today are just wonderful. So in case you're new to the channel, Wednesdays are dedicated to giving you tips and tricks on how to succeed at this suck-ass art world that we all live in. <laughs> okay, maybe I'm being a little cynical because our last video got 300 views. 40,000 subscribers, 300 views. That's awesome! Okay, so last week I'm... Hey, oh, pause, I need a drink. drink, clear your throat, do something, fix your mess. Don't act like you don't stir your coffee with a paintbrush too. Oh, oh that's much better. <laughs> okay, back to what I was talking about. So last week, one of you guys wrote in and said, hey Rio, how do you organize your paint? <laughs> uh, in the floor like everyone else? Pick those up. To put them all away the way that we're over there. Yeah, I'll be I'll be back. I gotta go bathe the cat. I'll, I'll be back. shoot or something. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Uh. The thing is, is that I'm really super obsessive about my paint being out, especially if I'm working on a project. So in all reality, my paint is usually all over the floor. However, being that you asked me that question, it got me to thinking, hmm, I bet I could make this a little easier on myself if I did a little organizational with my paint. So, Step number one, punch yourself in the face. After you recover from step number one, step number two, tip number two, head straight to Pinterest. You know that's where all the good ideas are anyway, right? That's where all the, now step two, head to my page on Pinterest. I need to get credit for this shit. <laughs> that's what needs to happen. You go to Rio's page on organization and then click on that shit and make some comments because I could use, I, I like lots of followers on Pinterest. I don't know how to make that work for, out for me for the good though, but anyway. Step number three, have your youngest daughter's best friend come over to build a wall. A great wall. A great wall. Not like in China, cause that'll take too long. But I mean like a wall of paint, people. Step number four, send size and said daughter's best friend to the lumber yard to buy a giant piece of mahogany. Which we totally filmed. Not, cause Sace is dumb and don't film nothing even though he says he wants to be a producer and a cinematographer. He don't film nothing. Where did this accent come from? I it's don't know. your fault. You've been wandering around with this Italian accent doing all kinds of crazy stuff lately and it's just like rubbing off on me. Tip number five, get yourself a big giant cup of coffee and pretend you have better things to do while you get those two to build your wall. Check this out.
swear. Anyway, what are you doing? Size! Size, we're back right now! I don't remember where it even went. Jeez! You get out of my shop. <laughs> you just get out of my studio. You get out. You need to go live somewhere else. Oh my God. Size, look at that! What did you do? So there you have it, an organized wall of paint. I'm super excited that it's finished. And Sice, what are you doing, Sice? Don't okay. touch nothing. Do not touch nothing. I think you should just leave that one there, because it was. Sice! Sice! Oh, I that didn't one do was there. <laughs> I didn't do that. Stop touching my wall. Okay. That's it for this episode. We solved the organizational problem with the paint. I got everything on the wall. It looks fantastic. I'm super excited about it. I hope did you a enjoyed lot this video. Of work if you liked this. it, you didn't do any work. If you liked this video, give us a thumbs up and make sure you ring the bell and hit subscribe because we're coming back next week with the tip being how to price your artwork because somebody wrote in and just asked me that today so you don't want to miss that one sorry this video was late we had trouble uploading on wednesday we're trying to really keep this on wednesday so anyway thanks for joining us love rio